In these problems, we're using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations um, that end up having complex roots. So we're going to see the letter i pop up in here. Remember our quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That's what we'll be using here. And a, b, and c are the coefficients of the x squared term, the x term, and the constant. So let's take these and start plugging them in. Negative b is going to be negative 8. Then we have plus or minus the square root of 8 squared is 64. That's b squared, 8 squared. Minus 4 times a times c. Well, a is 1 and c is 20. So 4 times 1 times 20 is going to be 80. What you'll see is you're going to get a negative number under this square root sign. And that's where our complex roots come from. This is all over 2 times a. Well, a is 1, so that's just over 2. So we've got negative 8 plus or minus... Well, 64 minus 80, that's the square root of negative 16. That's all over 2. So that equals negative 8 over, whoops, over 2 plus or minus. Now, the square root of 16, of negative 16, is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 16. The square root of negative 1 is i, square root of 16 is 4, so that comes out to 4i. And now we can simplify the fraction here, 8 divided by 2, so that'll be a negative 4, and 4 divided by 2, that'll be a 2i. And our final answers are negative 4 plus or minus 2i. Let's try another one like that. So we've got x squared minus 2x plus 10, so b is a negative 2. Always be careful about that signs. So when we start with a negative b, it's going to be a negative and negative 2, or a positive 2. Then plus or minus the square root of b squared. Well, negative 2 squared is 4. Minus 4ac. a is 1, c is 10. So 4 times 1 times 10 is 40. That's all over 2a. a is 1, so that's just 2. 4 minus 40 is a negative 36. So this is 2 plus or minus negative square root of negative 36 over 2. And the square root of negative 36 is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 36. The square root of negative 1 is i, so we have 2 plus or minus 6i over 2. And then we'll simplify the fraction. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is 1 plus or minus 3i. So that's a little bit about using the quadratic equation to solve some quadratics with complex roots. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.